Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading for the end of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. As always, it is going to be general, so that means it's not going to resonate for everybody, but you can check out one of your other signs or one of your person signs. And also the roles can be reversed because this is general. So if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, so what is going on with Pisces? What is the overall energy for the end of the month? Okay, we have deception. So it could be that you are feeling deceived or maybe you have been <clears throat> the one deceiving. It really depends. Okay, some of you I know are cross-watching. And so the energies could actually go either way. Um, somebody though is definitely either feeling deceived or somebody is deceiving how what they are presenting meaning that they could be feeling one thing and showing a completely different thing so let's actually get into this and see what this is about for some of you this might even be self-deception somebody not following what they're feeling Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the last part of July. Alright, so for the recent past, okay, we have the Seven of Swords, which is similar to that Deception card the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Somebody is tired of this deception. I feel like they're, it was actually very laborious, like keeping up this facade or trying to deceive one's own self, going against what they are feeling, whether this is you or the other person. I'm just going to assume that it's you, but feel free to um, reverse the roles, okay? So yeah, if this is you, it's almost like you have been sneaking away from something that you would that you would want, something that you were feeling. Almost like either deceiving yourself or possibly even the other person. And I feel like that was actually a very difficult task for you to do. Let's see what else. Yeah, it took a lot of effort for you to do that. So for the present, we have the star, the world, and the knight of pentacles. Okay, so it looks like things might be shifting for you here because I feel like what you're doing now with the star is actually trying to follow your intuition, becoming more in tune with your higher calling possibly, with your emotions, with where you feel like you are being guided to. Um, the star is also about healing, so whatever it is that has been keeping you from facing what it is that is right in front of you, it's like that is being healed in order for you to actually face it. So there's a conclusion here. There's an ending of a chapter. There is possibly a lesson that is being learned from this avoidance. I feel like there was just so much effort being put into avoiding a situation where it got to the point where you couldn't handle the burden of that anymore. It was just getting too heavy for you to carry. It was getting too difficult to not face whatever it was that was trying to present itself to you. That is what the deception was here. And I feel like at the moment, right, you're concluding that lesson and you're on your way to actually getting on the right path here. And I feel like it might be a slow process for you, but I feel like you're moving in the right direction. So let's see what is coming up and then we will clarify some of these. So coming up, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, and the Four of Wands. Okay, wow, that is really beautiful. So I love it when the bottom row here for the near future is just like so positive, all right? Because this is all about um, stability, reaching some kind of a goal where it's manifesting what you want in the material world. This is all about being able to leave behind something that was painful to you. 
or whatever it is that was not serving you, some old way of thinking, an old way of being, possibly some kind of a connection, all right? And then having this Four of Wands, which again is all about stability and possibly union with another person. So let's clarify. Let's clarify that Seven of Swords, which is actually the deception. All right, we have the Ace of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. So again, I feel like there was just a lot of resistance when it came to a love connection. Somebody was resisting this love connection like no other. Like just really trying to just sneak away from it, avoid it, push it out of mind, pretend like it's not there, even though underneath that there's so much emotions, there's so much, there's so much love here. And so this is just a lot of resisting your own self, basically. And again, like I said, this was hard. It's like there was a lot of effort. I don't know, for each of you, it's going to be different as to the reasons why this was happening. Let's see the Ten of Wands. The Five of Swords. There's that deception again. Yeah, I mean, it's this deception was just getting to the point where I feel like it was kind of um, boomeranging. Like the effect was just boomeranging and coming back to haunt you and so this is what actually pushed you for a change and with the star it's kind of like having to see things in a new way taking a new direction and pretty much just surrendering so clarifying the star we have the chariot the Ten of Wands showing up again, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so right now, yeah, you know, you're trying to find hope. You're trying to see things from a more positive perspective. I think you're trying to heal whatever this issue was. Um, and so, yeah, you are taking a new direction here. You are taking some action concerning this, but I feel like there might still be a little bit of confusion here. You're still feeling the heaviness of that because I feel like you may have been enduring it for so long that it still feels a little bit confusing as to, okay, I know I need to go in a new direction. I know that what I was doing um, was not serving me. And I know that I'm feeling very, very exhausted. So now, but now I just need to decide which way I need to go. How do I go about how do I go about finding this new direction? So I feel like that's where this confusion might be um, might be lying in, okay? The, the Seven of Cups. Trying to really decide, okay, what is this new direction? Where is it? And how do I go about it? All right, but the intention is there. And I feel like that is actually the first step for you to moving forward. Let's see the world. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're ready for something new here. I feel like there might be a little part of you still kind of holding on um, to the past energy here. So I f it, it's coming in like, you know what? You have learned this lesson. You are ready to move on, but there might just be a little bit of a hesitation here where there might be just a little bit of stubbornness. Yeah, but I don't know which way to go, so I don't know. But no, this chapter is complete. You're done with that deception. You're done with that. Again, this could be your person, okay? Um, you have that drive to do something different, to do something new. Possibly to even go back um, to try to make another connection work from your past for some of you. But there's just a little bit of stubbornness because, because of the confusion. Or even because you've just been so used to being in that energy from the past that this new just feels maybe a little bit uncomfortable for you. But I feel like, you know, the more, the more you just take little steps, the more comfortable you are becoming and the more secure and stable you are feeling in this new energy. Let's clarify that Knight of Pentacles.
Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords, the Hermit, and the Six of Swords showing up again, right? Because we have it down here. So yeah, you are really on the way to releasing this behavior, energy, attitude, whatever, dynamic from your past. All right, you you are moving in the right direction here, and I feel like you, you are moving towards having this clarity. Um, it might feel like, you know, you are kind of alone in this. You might feel a sense of loneliness or, you know, just that you really need to look within yourself to, to trust, to find that trust within yourself in order to move forward and to release that past energy that you were in, that deception. Sometimes it's really difficult to actually, um, process, you know, that, well, you know, what I was thinking before wasn't actually true, it was an illusion, but now you're having this clarity. You're having this clarity that, you know, I, I mean, I can't just keep living a life or living something that just doesn't feel right for me. So let's see what is coming up. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. Let's see that. Okay, the Six of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely some successful action being taken here. Successful action, which again, it's helping you to release what is not serving you, all right? This Eight of Cups. Whatever that might be for each of you, it might be something different, all right? Whatever that deception was. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's your own way of thinking. Maybe it is, I don't know, um, another situation, even if there is a, a connection that you have in your life. Maybe it's another situation that was serving as a barrier. Whatever that is, you are moving away from that because you know where your stability is. You know what it is that you want, and I see you achieving that very, very successfully, actually. So it's actually this action that you are taking. So it's the action that you are taking that is successful. This action of moving away from something is leading you to this Ten of Pentacles, to that stability, to manifesting something in your physical world that is actually going to be very um, victorious for you. Like this huge sense of accomplishment. And yeah, the road might be a little bit difficult, but you know it's worth it. Whatever that is, it it's all about moving away from something, releasing whatever that deception is from the past. So let's clarify the Six of Swords. All right, okay, we have the Emperor and the Two of Swords. Okay, you can be so successful at this, all right, at this release, whatever it is, re releasing that deception, moving away from that. All right, you have the emperor here. You can be that strong as the emperor. Real, this will really help you to gain some sense of control over your life and feel that power, feel that victory. The message for you here is don't doubt yourself. Don't hesitate. It's like you know exactly. That lesson is learned. And so you know you need to take this new direction. It's all a matter of trusting yourself and trusting the process. So in whatever way this is going to relate to um, another connection with another person in one way or another because it is a love reading. And I just did it differently this time around. I wanted to just mostly focus on one person's energy. Um, but next time I will go back to doing your energy and their energy most likely. All right, so just take this message as it resonates for you. All right, so let's clarify the four of wands. All right, and we have the Hierophant and the Six of Cups. This really feels like this is movement towards a connection from the past, a connection that feels very spiritual. I feel also with this Hierophant that this exactly, it's reinforcing the fact that lessons have been learned. And there's this nostalgia, at least, for a connection that may have been there for you in the past. Or to have 
just a, a nostalgia, a desire to have something like you've had in the past, you know, to have some kind of stability, to refine a sense of stability that you've possibly had in the past. Even if it is with someone new. And I see that you moving away from that deception, that is where it is leading you to. To a more deep type of a connection, a deep type of a, um, even a commitment, possibly even marriage, all right? Having both the Four of Wands and the Hierophant. And for a lot of you, this is going to be with somebody from your past. And I feel like that is what this is all leading up to. All right, it's just about you trusting the process and releasing that deception from your past. So, Pisces, if this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have the full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Yeah, and I feel like that is very much in line with what I've been saying, all right? Because this is definitely a personal issue for you with this deception, all right? It's reaching that resolution. You can do this and move forward. So, Pisces, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.